today I'm going to be showing you how you can freeze cookie dough so that you can whip up fresh cookies in a matter of minutes because really there's nothing as heavenly as a warm fresh from the oven cookie with a cold glass of milk and I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to make sure you always have homemade cookie dough on hand. I'm also going to be showing you how to go ahead and bake cookie dough from the freezer. My name is Tessa and I'm from HandleTheHeat.com where I love to share homemade baking recipes and kitchen tips and actually I've written three books all about cookies. It's kind of crazy. I know too much about cookies and I need to share it with you. I'll be sure to link to those books below because I actually just released my newest one called Tessa's Christmas Cookies and now that we're in the full swing of the holiday baking season, it's the perfect time to really dive into perfecting your cookies. So if you'd like to learn how to freeze cookie dough then just keep watching. So to get started with freezing cookie dough you're basically just going to make the cookie recipe exactly the way the recipe says. And I'm using my ultimate chocolate chip cookies for the recipe I'm showing you today. I'll go ahead and link that down below because they are seriously the best chocolate cookies you may ever taste and they're super easy to make. And actually, drop style cookies like chocolate chip cookies are the best to freeze, whereas cutout cookies like cutout sugar cookies are best frozen when they're already baked. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop out balls of dough onto a parchment lined baking sheet that fits inside my freezer. And of course, I'm always using my OXO Good Grips cookie scoops, and I'll go ahead and link to those below because they are my favorite and I'm just popping them all onto this baking sheet. And the trick with freezing cookie dough is to par freeze the balls of dough before we put them in a resealable container. And this way the dough gets nice and solid and won't end up sticking together in the freezer when they are stored for a longer period. So once they're in the freezer for about an hour, I'm going to take them out because now they're nice and solid and I can put them into my resealable bag that I've actually labeled not only with the date and the name of the recipe, but also the temperature and time it needs to bake for. It just makes things a whole lot easier. And they, they'll stay good in the freezer for about six weeks, maybe longer, but I highly doubt the cookie dough will last that long. If your house is anything like mine, cookie dough does not last for very long. So in order to bake the dough, you can either defrost the dough completely overnight in the fridge or at room temperature, or if you're like me because you're pretty impatient, you can just let the dough sit out at room temperature while you preheat the oven and simply add on like one to two minutes to the original baking time from the recipe and you'll come out with beautiful cookies. Just remember that the colder the dough is, the thicker the cookies will be, but that's how I like them anyway, so it's perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys. I so wish that cameras had smell-o-vision technology because these cookies smell and look incredible. If I could give you one through the screen, I totally would. Freezing cookie dough is seriously my favorite trick in the kitchen. I always have frozen cookie dough on hand and I hope you will too now. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more deliciousness all the time, and I'll catch you around in another video soon. P.S. Don't forget to check out Tessa's Christmas Cookies. If you like this video, if you like my ultimate chocolate chip cookies, you'll love everything I've included in Tessa's Christmas Cookies. It includes not only recipes and baking tips, but also ideas for decorating cookies, ideas for packaging them, because homemade gifts really are the best kind, especially when they're edible. So don't forget to check out that link just below.